circumstances of the means of grace. The bowl of rice that's on the communion table today remind us that uh, for many of us, Christ is the bread of life, and that metaphor kind of works in, with our food. But for many um, Asian people, bread is not the staple of the food of, our, of the meal, it's rice. And for many Asian countries and for many Asian Christians, Christ is the rice of life. So we have a bowl of rice on the communion table celebrating that. We're going to be hearing and learning a new hymn this morning, Psalm 150 in Urdu, the national language of Pakistan. And I want to say a little bit about this hymn before we sing it together in a few minutes. Singing psalms is a central part of worship in Pakistan. The singing style began as kind of a call and response, like a cantor singing a line and the congregation singing it back. But my experience of the Pakistani Christian communities that over time everybody learns the psalm and so everybody just sings it twice <laughs> and that's how how we sing the song is that correct am I saying that right and that and especially this psalm that we're going to sing which is a it was just a favorite there's a refrain that begins this psalm and then it's repeated every verse and it's seven there are seven verses to this psalm so you have eight chances to learn the refrain and it's very simple so just listen for it and it'll be repeated and you ha it'll the refrain will show up on a powerpoint slide so you're not going to have any trouble there it is you're going to learn that and you'll know it by the end of the morning i am confident there is an insert in the bulletin with the Romanized text of the hymns, including all the verses. The Romanized text is the Urdu spelled out in our English or Roman alphabet, as most of us can't read the Urdu alphabet. And on the back of that insert is an English version of this psalm that the Wild Goose Resource Group has published. This is one of the first hymns that I learned from the Urdu-speaking community, so it's really a favorite of mine because I can actually sing it a little bit with you, with my American accent. We have some guest musicians who have joined us this morning to accompany the singing of the psalm, and the instruments that they are playing are the harmonium and the tabla tuned drums, and thank you for being here. I want to really thank the entire Urdu-speaking community of First Presbyterian Church for sharing this wonderful hymn with us as our Psalter lesson this morning. And we're not going to sing it right now. We're going to continue with our worship, but we'll be singing it in a little, in just a few moments. So let's continue our worship. Come, Spirit of Truth, our helper and advocate. Open our hearts and minds. Spark us with a word of life, a message that we may share with others as we seek to live Christ's love in the world. All this we ask in your name, O God, you who creates, redeems, and sustain us. Amen. In the first lesson, actually this morning our first lesson is from the book of Acts, chapter 17, verses 22 to 31. In the first lesson we find Paul in Athens, facing the challenge of introducing the gospel to a culture that knows nothing of Jewish tradition and has never heard the story of Jesus. Listen to what the Spirit is saying to the church. Then Paul stood in front of the Areopagus and said, Athenians, I see how extremely religious you are in every way. For as I went through the city and looked carefully at the objects of your worship, I found among them an altar with the inscription to an unknown God. What therefore you worship as unknown, this I proclaim to you, the God who made the world and everything in it, he who is Lord of heaven and earth, does not live in shrines made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands as though he needed anything, since he himself gives to all mortals life and breath and all things. From one ancestor he made all nations to inhabit the whole earth, 
and he allotted the times of their existence and the boundaries of the place where they would live so that they would search for God and perhaps grope for him and find him, though indeed he is not far from each one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being. As even some of your own poets have said, for we too are his offspring, since we are God's offspring. We ought not think that the deity is like gold or silver or stone, an image formed by the art and image of the mortals. While God has overlooked the times of human ignorance, he now commands all people everywhere to repent because he has fixed a day on which he will have the world judged in righteousness by a man whom he has appointed. And all of this has given assurance to all by raising him from the dead. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. So it's time to light the children's friendship candle, remembering that the children of our church are friends to each other, whether they're together or apart, and to remind all of us grown-ups to pray for the children of our congregation week by week. And I'd like to ask any of the children who are here who would like to come and join me for prayer to come come and join me now. Hello, Skylar. How are you? Hi, good to see you. Good morning. (laughs) Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. Your dress is so pretty. Hi. Hello, good morning. Well, it's good to see you all. It's good to have you here. In just a minute, we're going to sing a special song. We're going to learn a new... Well, you already know this song, but... You do, we do, you do not know this song, and it's really simple, isn't it? Don't you think it's kind of an easy song? I think it's kind of easy to learn and sing. And we're really grateful for all the songs that we learn in our homes. Everybody learns different songs, and then we come to church and we bring them all together, and we give them as little gifts to each other so that we can sing each other's songs together. And that's what singing together, all the hymns that we sing in church, People grew up singing all different hymns. We didn't all grow up singing the same stuff. And then we come to church and we gift each other with these really wonderful songs that we can learn together. So we're going to learn a new song today and we're really grateful and happy that we're going to learn this song. So we're going to thank God for the many, many gifts that God gives us. And then we're going to pray the Lord's Prayer. And the grown-ups can help us out as we pray. But then I'm going to invite you, like last week, to just sit right here so that you can be part of us singing this new song. And then after the song is finished, then you can go to Godly Play and Brochure Bridge, okay? So let's pray together, and you can get ready to pray. Dear Dear God, thank you for all our songs. They came from different places, from different families. We bring it to our church family, where we can share them. Thank you. And now let's pray the way Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you for coming and praying with me. Have a seat just for a few minutes while we sing. Okay. We're, we're back on. Is that what you're saying? I'm going to say a little note. Welcome everybody who's come back online. We're sorry that we're having a little trouble getting online. Hang in there. If it goes out again, the tech people are, you know, bring it back. And we're really glad that you're able to join us this morning. Everybody take a minute and just turn around and wave at everybody who's at home. We're really glad you're with us this morning. Let's continue our worship with the singing of this psalm. Yeah.
रब की हो वे सना हमेशा रब की हो वे सना रब की हो वे सना रब की हो वे मदा सराई रब की हो वे मदा सराई उसकी नाम की सना हाल लुया उसके नाम की रब की हो वे सना हमेशा रब की हो वे सना रब के घर में हो वे सीताए रब के घर में हो वे सीताए उसके हम दो सना हाल लुया उसके हम दो सना हमेशा रब की हो वे सना रब की हो वे सना हमेशा रब की हो वे सना कामों में है वो कैसा का दे कामों में है वो कैसा का दे उसकी कुदरत बता हाल लुया रब की हो वे सना हमेशा रब की हो वे सना जय के जोर से फूको नरसिंह बीन बजा हाल लुया भरे बत बीन बजा हमेशा रब की हो वे सना रब की हो वे सना हमेशा रब की हो वे सना ज्यादा साजों पे राग नीचे बले बजा हाल लुया हो वे सना हमेशा रब की हो वे सना असली पार सुना सोवे सोरे सोना सोरे सोरे लेग बजा हाल लुया जन जन रब की हो वे सना हमेशा रब की हो वे सना बजाओ गाओ रब की सना आखिरी वाला फिर गाएंगे आखिरी वाला रब की हो वे सना रब की हो वे सना हमेशा आखिरी वाला सारे मिल कर ताली बजाओ रब की हो वे सना हमेशा रब की हो वे सना रब की हो वे सना हमेशा 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 रब
ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਰੱਬ ਕੀ ਹੋਵੇ ਸਨਾ ਰੱਬ ਕੀ ਹੋਵੇ ਸਨਾ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਰੱਬ ਕੀ ਹੋਵੇ ਸਨਾ Thank you so much and thank you Khalid for arranging all of this. This was just wonderful and Psalm 150 will never I promise you will never be the same when you read it in English um when we sing our dismal Scottish versions of Psalm 150 it, it will you will always be thinking about this forever. So thank you very much. Um Thank you for coming up and praying with me today and Miss Kathy's in the back if you're going to Godly Play and if you're going to Worship Bridge you can meet Miss Virginia back there and have a wonderful morning in worship. The gospel reading is from the Gospel of John in chapter 14 starting at verse 15 Jesus is speaking to the disciples If you love me you will keep my commandments and I will ask the Father and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever This is the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him You know him because he abides with you and he will be in you I will not leave you orphaned. I am coming to you. In a little while the world will no longer see me, but you will see me, because I live you also will live. On that day you will know that I am in my Father and you in me and I in you. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me, and those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. for the word of god in scripture for the word of god among us and for the word of god within us thanks be to god loving commandments jesus loves me this i know for my mother told me so well that's not the way most of us learned the song but it wouldn't be so wrong if we had my head is filled with my mother's words My father's words too, but since it is Mother's Day, I'm thinking more about her words today. Mary for love, nothing else. Those are my mother's words. Whatever you do and wherever you go, we will always love you. Those are my mother's words. Just remember, no matter what happens, this home is always a safe place for you to come to. Those are my mother's words. Jesus loves you. the earth is beautiful never stop learning no one can take your education from you here's how you scramble an egg this is how you butter your toast this is how to make a bed don't wear dirty underwear what if you get in an accident and you don't want the doctor and the nurse to see that in the hospital i you seem to recognize that one <laughs> My head is filled with my mother's words and I would guess that your head is filled with your mother's words too. People my age often talk about the tapes in their heads running which uh play those words uh younger people don't know what tapes even are but <laughs> people my age talk about tapes that play in their heads over and over and many mothers would be appalled to know how many of their casual offhand remarks uh which they made without really thinking about them were dutifully recorded in a child's young mind as an eternal truth never to be forgotten part of growing up is learning how to distinguish between the different voices playing in your head your mother's voice your father's voice your teacher's voice even a taunting bully's voice and then you have to learn to recognize another voice your own and having learned to recognize the voice of others and learn to recognize the voice of yourself then you learn to recognize yet another voice the still small voice of god 
Sometimes the process of separating out your own voice, your own feelings, your own mind and heart and beliefs from those of your parents and learning to recognize yourself is a painful process. To some people it feels as if they must throw off a great and smothering weight in order to come to the surface of themselves just to breathe. But to other people, perhaps most other people, the process of separating out your own voice in young adulthood is simply a thing to do, a stage of growth and a time of great joy and exciting discovery. A mother and a father can help a child through the time of sifting and sorting out of voices to find their own, a time that typically occurs when we're young adults between about 18 and 28 years old by laying some groundwork in preparation. It's possible that by putting some tapes in your young child's mind, that tapes that look forward to the time of self-examination or which at least presuppose such a time to come and anticipate it, that you can help your adult child work through it. What if you said things now and then in conversation like this? When I was a little girl, I knew that Jesus loved me, but I didn't really know what that love meant until I was about 26. What about your grandmother, my own mother, taught me a lot of things. And when I got older, I learned that some of the things I thought she had wrong were actually right. And some of the things I thought she had right were actually wrong. But a lot of the things she had right, I discovered for myself that they really were right. Someday you'll decide for yourself about the things I'm telling you now. When I review the words of my mother, which are still in my head, I find that some of them are gentle and instructive, and some are rather blunt and instructive. Stop. Look both ways before you cross the street. I still do that many years later. Don't touch that, it's hot. Don't play behind the car. Don't get in a car with strangers. Don't give chicken bones to the dog. <laughs> 